KBOI 2 News, first at four. Take a look. The Pioneer Fire burning near Idaho City has grown by nearly 1,000 acres. Yeah, it's now burned more than 4,500 acres and it's only 30% contained. More than 800 firefighters are now on scene. Good afternoon, I'm Brent Hunsaker. And I'm Natalie Hurst. Crews on that fire are dealing with intense heat on the fire lines all week long. And as a matter of fact, uh, the Interagency uh, Fire Center has raised the preparedness level to uh, level three. That's on a scale of one to five, largely because of the heat. Absolutely, and Scott Logan today checked in with crews on the fire line to see how they're dealing with this heat in this fire season report. Here at the incident command post for the Pioneer Fire near Idaho City, the heat is on everyone's mind. Crews fill five gallon water jugs from a supply truck as temperatures start to climb. Pallets of Gatorade stand nearby. There were two heat related injuries on the Pioneer Fire just the other day. We had some crew members that became dehydrated. Um, their bodies just uh, lost uh, too much fluid. They didn't get enough intake and they started having symptoms of nausea, vomiting. The two firefighters were briefly hospitalized as a precaution, then sent home to rest before they are mobilized again this summer. They've listed the risks of working on this fire here at the incident command post, and one of the most critical risks are heat-related illnesses and dehydration, which happen frequently, and they post the symptoms of heat-related illnesses, which include lack of energy, headaches, dizziness, no hunger, poor eating habits, all of this is very serious. This has mostly been a battle involving aircraft and individual fire crews on the ground versus the flames, but paths are now being cleared so fire engines can start to deploy. What are you going to do to protect yourself from the heat? Uh, mostly just keep well hydrated. Uh, heat related illnesses are probably the biggest uh, risk that we're one of the biggest risks that we face out on the line out there. They should probably all be drinking probably at least a gallon and a half, two gallons of water a day. And when it comes to the heat, nobody here at the incident command post has any plans to let their guard down. Near Idaho City, Scott Logan, KBY2 News.